Welcome to The Hollywood Scholar. I'm Jed Morgan. And it appears that in the era when actors are no longer allowed to pretend for a living, despite that being their very job, a very prominent actor who has a very strong opinion on this new change in Hollywood. We got this article here from Bounding in the Comics. Lord of the Rings star Ian McKellen rejects idea actors must share exact qualities as their character. We're acting, we're pretending. And that's something I've gone into in several different occasions on this channel, was specifically with the Miss Marvel situation and the Madam Web situation, where both of those had characters in them. Miss Marvel had a Islamic character in it who had an Islamic actress, but she wasn't of Islamic faith. She was of Islamic heritage, but not Islamic faith. And a lot of people in the woke sphere had a problem with that. And then in the issue with Madame Webb, they cast a seeing actress as a blind woman. She's pretending. She's pretending. And so Ian McKellen is weighed in on this situation, and he actually has some really good quotes about the situation. And a lot of the narratives that have been built around his character specifically when it comes to the Rings of Power situation artists membered by some of these quotes here because like the one ring.net said that there was a whole lot of homophobic stuff hurled his way when he was initially cast in the original lord of the rings trilogy and that can't be farther from the truth there might have been one or two people on the internet being dipshits but 99.99 percent of the fans were like holy shit he is perfect for gandalf and he's one of the most beloved characters from those movies and he's one of the most accurate like no one has a problem with gandalf and so just to hear him come out against a lot of this stuff with his you know diverse check boxes that he can uh, check off his attributes that these woke people seem to value more than other attributes he's allowed to have this sort of opinion but someone who wasn't gay in this instance like him would be in a lot of trouble with these woke people because you're not allowed to have opinions unless you're diverse and so he's allowed to so he's shutting them down and it's really cool to see someone like him really stand up against these crazy nut jobs Though the idea that an actor must share the exact physical and mental uh, qualities as the characters they portray has been growing ever more popular across the Western entertainment, uh, legendary X-Men and the Lord of the Rings star Sir Ian McKellen disagrees with this entire notion. Yeah, and that's the fundamental thing is they're actors. They pretend for a living. No actor is 100% going to match the character. And when it's in small ways, I don't have an issue with it. Like if it's big ways, yeah, you, you have an argument for accuracy when it comes to adaptation. But when it's stuff that you can fake... I don't have a problem with that. I don't have any sort of problem with that. Like if you were making a Bible movie and you needed to cast a Jesus actor, if he looks like Jesus, can sound like Jesus, but he's not Christian, does that disqualify him? No, not in the least. He does the part well, and that's what's important. But yeah, even now, belief is an issue. And this is specifically yeah related to Helen Mirren getting a cast as an Israeli prime minister and being accused of Jew face, which I think is ridiculous because the Jewish faith is a faith. It is an ethnicity as well, but it is a faith. And there's a lot of people who are not of Jewish heritage that are of a Jewish faith. So Jew face is just a really weird accusation to throw out people. And it's really weird that only certain demographics are c concerning to these woke people. Like if you, the example I gave had a non-Christian actor playing a Christian character, these woke people wouldn't care because they don't value Christianity as religion. I'm not Christian myself, but I notice those trends. And it's really weird to see how they prioritize different faiths, different ethnicities, and yeah, it's really just how much of a narrative can be built around your belief or your identity why, why they have these issues with these certain types of characters. So uh, yeah, he broached the topic in a March 3rd interview, BBC. Asked by the prolific journalist for his thoughts on the recent outrage against Helen Mirren's casting. Yep. There are two things. Is the argument that a Gentile cannot play a Jew and is the argument before that a Jew cannot play a Gentile. And that is the perfect response to situations like this. Like if you inburst it, would you have the same opinion? And that I recently got into an argument with someone in the comments of one of my videos about whether or not I was racist. But I said, hey, I'd have these same problems no matter the race of anyone involved. I'm consistent across race, which means it's not about racism. But the guy didn't accept that, obviously. But turning the, audi uh, the argument in reverse is a perfect way to see if it's about racism or not. Because, yeah, just like he does it here, can a Jew play a Gentile? Absolutely. And these woke people don't have a single issue with that. But when you inverse it, if you have an issue, that shows some bigotry. If it's the same across the board, at least you're consistent. It's not about racism. But if it's not, you might have an issue there. 
So yeah, just turning it in reverse is a perfect response to a question like that. Is the argument that a straight man cannot play a gay part? And if so, does that mean I can't play straight parts? And I'm not allowed to explore the fascinating subject of heterosexuality in Macbeth. Yet. As a prolific Shakespeare actor, he's played a ton of straight characters, not just Shakespeare. But yeah, Macbeth has some interesting tales, but he wouldn't be able to do that role if this woke logic was applied across the board because Macbeth is straight, married to a woman. E. McKellen's not. There's nothing wrong with it in that direction for these people, but when you reverse it, and yeah, that he's just spitting fire. I love these comics by Ian McKellen. They're perfectly well thought out and logical, and that's a lot of things that shut down these woke people, is common sense and logic are kind of difficult for them, if you know what I mean. Surely not, McKellen concluded. We're acting. We're pretending. Yes, they pretend for a living. Let them pretend. Amirin was first accused of engaging in Jew face, yeah, for that role. Because the Jewishness of the character is so integral. Okay, she's still pretending for a living. I'm sure she, Mirren, will be marvelous, but it will uh, never be allowed for Ben Kingsley to play Nelson Mandela. You just couldn't even go th go there. Well, yeah, because th then you're getting to the physical attributes. And that's, like, that's stuff that you can't fake. So, yeah, that's a completely unfair comparison. Uh, right now, representation fucking matters. It has to do also uh, finally matter for Jews as well, especially Jewish women. Wow, okay. That was a bit aggressive. <laughs> she then pointed, uh, perhaps you need to have some a sort of panel of people who say this is not acceptable, this is acceptable. Oh, that would just be bad. She, like, saying every Hollywood production needs to go to this woke panel and be like, hey, is this okay? We want to make sure we're not offending anyone. The panel of woke tards? Fucking hell, that would just be the death of creative expression not not that it's really doing well right now to begin with elaborating on her comments uh helen will be great great actress sexy and intelligent look the part so what's wrong here my opinion and that's what it is a mere opinion is that if the character's race creed or gender drives or defines the portrayal then the correct for want of an umbrella term ethnicity should be a, a priority yeah it, in certain instances, I would agree with that, but in other instances, as long as all these previous ones are adhered to, and it's done for the right reason, I talk about this in my Booster Gold video that that guy was yelling at me for, is the motivation and the execution definitely do matter. So if Helen Mirror doesn't per portray the struggle of this character well, even the Jewish aspect of this character well, then that would be an execution problem and we're done. And if it was done specifically to erase Jewish heritage, that would be a problem, which is obviously not the case. You wouldn't be making a movie about a Jewish woman to mock Jews. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So motivation and execution do matter in this whole thing. But she fulfills the look and all that. And she's a great actress. I don't see any problem with this. Uh, which is not to say Pericles, Prince of Thai. Okay, I'm not sure why they're getting into that. Yeah, so I just love Ian McKellen's comments on this, and that's the more important part of this than the Helen Mirror aspect of it. That's a side issue that I need to research more before I can really have a concrete opinion on the subject. But I just love that he's like, we're acting, we're pretending, and that is a very concise way of putting it. And just because he's gay, these woke people will listen to him, and that sucks to hear, but we need people like him to stand up against this wokeness because people like him are the only ones that will be listened to and not be labeled as homophobic or sexist or racist or whatnot. So it sucks that he has to be the one to do it, but he had some great comments that really encapsulated the issues for us. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here and want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book 3, Kill the Dark, coming soon.